All right, so let's jump back into the asset security domain and finish up anything that we have remaining in this domain. So before we took a uh, break to go through and do some practice test questions, we talked about an authoritative data source. And one of the things that you're gonna see as we traverse the rest of these domains is that this authoritative data store or authoritative data source is one of the most important things within an organization. Typically, it is a system owner or a data owner who is in charge of an authoritative data store. I know that uh, I've been involved in projects in the past that um, look to bring together data from authoritative data stores. So for instance, if you are looking to find out what is the most authoritative data store for the network, you should go no further than Active Directory. Active Directory will control authentication, it'll control authorization, to anything that is on the domain. Now, if you want to take it a step further and you're holding some, some other data, like let's say uh, HR data or finance data or you know, physical security information, and that information is in another system, then what you can do is you can put connectors from that authoritative data store into those other systems. And what that does is that gives us what's called referential integrity. So as we uh, are on the network, your, if your first name is in the authoritative data store and the other systems in your uh, organization are not using that uh, authoritative data store as a consumer, if those, if those systems are not consumers of that information, then you could get uh, data that is different between those different systems. And then we have all sorts of problems because if one system says Ben and the other says Benjamin, and then the other one says Benny or you know whatever, then who system is right? And typically what we find is that usually these authoritative data stores are the, uh, the, the keepers to the kingdom and usually they're the big dogs on the system. So, so things like Active Directory, things like uh, SAP, um, or you know, huge ERP systems or CRM systems are usually those authoritative data stores and associative to a data owner. And we've already talked a little bit about those uh, different roles that you typically will see um, with guarding assets in the organization. And I say that because uh, you know, we need to also have discussions about how can we process that information what do we do with that information as it gets older? And what are some of those, uh, those different things that we can do to help uh, make sure that we uh, protect it, but also uh, don't let any type of uh, other system see things that it shouldn't see through uh, reciprocity or maybe transitive trust. Um, so those are, those are fairly straightforward, but what we need to be able to understand is what do we retain with the system? What data do we keep? How long do we keep it for? And where do we keep the data? Well, usually people say that the what and the how are pretty easy. The last question though, where do we keep the information? 